man. Y'all come on and hop up in this live. We about to call this show and tell. Show and tell. Show you how I prevail, you know what I'm saying? Let me set this up for you. You feel me? Get this nice and good. Yeah, show and tell. Y'all coming to this live, y'all gonna see, see how I show and tell. You feel me? <clears throat> A lot of people you talk to, they be trying to get information from, be paying, be reaching out to thinking they gonna really give you some type of remedy and some type of help. Ask them to show and tell. You know what I'm saying? I used to love show and tell growing up. You know what I'm saying? That was my favorite, that was my favorite part of school. Yeah, show and tell. Yeah, me and my bro doing show and tell. We used to go to the front of the class. And uh yeah, everybody else come up there and show and tell what they done did and brought, you know what I'm saying? We go out there, we be singing. So he'll be singing the uh Brian McKnight, uh, a one you like a dream come true. Two, just want to be with you. Three, it's great, it's plain to see that you're the only one for me. And four, yeah, he be singing that. I'll be singing the background and dancing in the background. That's how we did doing show and tell. We were so good, the teacher used to just let us leave class and uh, go to the other classrooms during they show and tell time and perform. So you gotta realize I was performing early. I was what this was first first grade maybe second grade, about first or second grade. <laughs> but I love show and tell. I love it. Everything that I've been doing from then to now is show and tell. You know what I'm saying? I show you and I tell you. So if you don't understand what King talking. Soldier walking is all about it's about show and tell so here's some information i got top classified information this information right here is three per three pages of show and tell it's three pa pages of show and tell so you tell you everything about Darius Williams, the Vine Rock Salon Bay. Everything you gonna wanna know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers go to jail and shit, get accused of snitching and all that. They be like, yeah, they wanna see your paperwork. Motherfuckers go to jail. They see, you know, what you in for, pull your paperwork out. Let's look at your discovery and evidence, you know. Guess what? Let's pull the paperwork out. We're going to show and tell. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got to be saying too much when it come down to how I did it, the steps I took and all that because the steps have already been done. I don't got to sit here and, you know what I'm saying, go all out my way. To try to, you know what I'm saying, bring people in into this information. I don't got to do all that. Why I got to go out here and, and, and try to put myself out here so I can be in the same category of all these other cats that people be going to. What's good, brother? Go to all these other cats people be going to when they got a court case they trying to beat. They looking on TikTok trying to find somebody to go to. They looking on Instagram and YouTube and trying to listen to videos, trying to find somebody to go to. I ain't got to do all that. I ain't got to put all that information and do all that. Make all these videos and stuff. I'm not going to do that. That's not what I'm going to do. That's not what I'm about. Because when I come on live, when I come on social media and all that, I'm popping this game. I'm not really coming on here to tell you about how I beat my case, how I uh got over three pages over 30 cases that I got dismissed myself. It's all right here. It's all right here. Now, I done went back on the court record 
and seal my file. It took claim over all these cases and seal my file. So you got to realize you ain't going to be able to just <laughs> go in there and get nothing anyway because everything is owned and controlled and conveyed over to the trust. So I got the files. I got it. You want to see it? You want to see the court records? You want to see the case law? You want to see whatever? You got to come to me. Go ask your favorite guru. Go ask your favorite motherfucker that you like to sit here and watch and read their posts and learn from and get information from. Go get a consultation from them. And when you get the consultation, personally ask them how many cases they done beat. Ask them about their experience in the courthouse. Ask them. Ask them about their experience with dealing with the clerk, with dealing with the DA. See, I'm going to show you about that power of the contract. See, when you come in with that real power, when you come in with that real knowledge and truth, you go directly to who you need to go to and talk to them. You go directly to the person who got the charges against you. So on the on the ticket, it's going to say against the state of, or county of, or whatever. It don't really have a direct person except for that officer. So who you got to go against? Who you got to go against that's coming at you? It's the DA. So go and ask your peoples that you study from and that you're paying. Go and ask them about their experience with contracting, with, with going against the DA, with filing claim and giving notice to the DA. Will put in um, notice, you know what I'm saying, a claim against the officer. This in, this in my name, this in my title. This in my title. They come in and they try to get AKA. Williams, Darius, they try to go ahead and, and, and put my, uh, try to get my social, try to get my debtor, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm coming in as, what I'm standing on, let's talk about it. 2018. 2018. 2000. 2013, 2015, expired, no inspection, driving without a license, driving without registration. Let's talk about it. Failure to notify DMV about address change. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Possession of stolen motor vehicle, felony, dismiss. Let's talk about it. Let's go, start getting to the facts. You know what I'm saying? Because when it was time to stand on business, you motherfuckers weren't doing shit. You was playing around on video games. Worried about trying to get your dick wet. Watching foosball and shit. You know what I'm saying? When it was time to put the work in, when it was time to stand on your square, when it was time to be a testament for yourself. See, you got to be a testament for yourself. You got to prove yourself before anything. So go and ask your teacher, your guru, the one you paying or whoever. Go and ask them how have they proven this information to be true and exact for themselves first. Let's pull out the receipts. Because that's what I like to do. I like to show and tell, you know. I like to show it and I like to tell it. It's king talking, soldier walking. You got to know how to talk like a king and you know how to walk like a soldier. So ask them, ask them when, they, when, when was they ever walking like a soldier? When was they going into that courtroom? When was they going to that DA? When was they going to that rush of deeds to file that paperwork? When they was getting, ask them what type of, what type of, uh, you know what I'm saying, adversity they had to face with filing their paperwork on the rush of deeds. Ask them what type of standing they have with the, um, 
the uh, the, the clerks and the, and the judges and the lawyers and the individuals downtown in their county. Ask them and see. Find out about this. What's going on? Because if you were truly being able to put work in for yourself, you would be able to have some type of understanding, some type of, um, you know what I'm saying, um, like uh, rapport. You got some type of rapport downtown in your city, downtown in that courthouse, inside them jails. You going to tell me you've been standing on this information, you ain't never been locked up? How you ain't never been locked up and you really standing on this information? Because anybody know if you really truly standing on this information, you're getting locked up. Oh, yeah, you get, you're going through some encounters with them police. Every situation just ain't going to be a, hey, goodbye type of situation. <laughs> yeah, they want you to make, they want to make it think that this shit's so easy, you know what I'm saying? They want you to really think that this shit easy. That it's just easy to go out here and, oh, I'm going to just put something on the paper and go file it and stand and that be that. And what happened when you get denied? What happened when you got to go in, you got to steal, you know what I'm saying, uh, counterclaim and counteract on, 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 on whatever they sent and rebut. You don't even know how to rebut. You don't know how to go into the second phase, you know what I'm saying? You take that first step, second step, and then boom, can't even take the third. Can't even send your three notices in. See, I dropped game for you, you know what I'm saying? But... If you ain't really got it in here to really be able to, you know what I'm saying, have mind over matter, you worried about all the things that don't matter instead of worried about your mind that do matter. So what's going on in your mind? Because something got to be conflicted in your mind to be able, that's keeping you from really having the courage, the boldness, you know what I'm saying, the power within to stand on the truth. Something got to be conflicting you in your mind, holding you back, stopping you, prohibiting you from moving forward like you're supposed to. It says my people pay or perish for the lack of knowledge. You know why many lack knowledge? Because they don't want knowledge. They don't want the knowledge. They don't want the knowledge. People perish before the lack of knowledge because they don't want the knowledge. The knowledge is out here. The knowledge is present. The knowledge is all around. The knowledge is all around. It's everywhere. But yet it's nowhere. It's everywhere, but yet it's nowhere. Is nowhere. You know why it's nowhere? Because many false teachers and false prophets have polluted this shit so much that that you don't even really know where to go. Or what the you know what I'm saying, start studying. The knowledge being so polluted that motherfuckers don't even know what's real and what's fake. It's like females fucking with these niggas out here. A female deal with a, a man don't even really know if he's honorable or not honorable, if he's a good man or not good man. They don't even know because so many weak males have come into this representation of what a man is, beating on their chest, thinking they know what a man is, and have given this cycling representation of, of this type of man to these women. So what the women really think a man is, it's only based off of per perception of what they've been seeing and dealing with. So now you go into, you know what I'm saying, an actual man, an honorable, upright man, and you come into the, the uh, you come into the, you know what I'm saying, the environment and come around and get in situations with these different women, and you're going to realize that these women don't know how to decipher what is and what ain't. They question the truth so much 
they questioned it so much because it's to be questioned. Because so many have come in, in the name of the truth, but have been false and liars. So they got to question everything. They got to be on guard with everything. And that's how it is with this information. You got to be on guard with everything now. At one point in time, the information was all out here to get, to get. But now it ain't. Because it's been so polluted by false ones trying to come like, like they got the motherfucking facts. You can't, show, you can't show me three. This just in North Carolina. This ain't in other cities and, and other states that I've been in and I've beat cases in. This just in North Carolina. In my city alone. You can't go in and show three, three over three pages of, of information of, of nothing but dismissals. These are all my cases. This is what I had to stand on. I didn't have none of you motherfuckers out there. I didn't have nobody really. I didn't have nobody really to the point that it made me sit down. It made me like really fall back and move differently because I'm getting into different situations. What you know about having a van full of 10 people? I'm moving through Kentucky. I got a van full of 10 people. What, what type of license place you think I had? You think I had a regular license place? You don't really think I was moving out here with a van of 10 people, you know what I'm saying, standing on the treaty, operating my vessel as the moor, you know what I'm saying, having everybody under my majesty. You don't think I was standing on the treaty with the tags on the back, with the moor's tags on the back, with the private tags on the back. That mean if I get pulled over, that mean that somebody stop me. Whatever motherfucking city or state I'm in, if some police just decide to just see it and decide that they just want to question it because they don't understand it and pull me over, I got to stand on that shit. That mean that shit can happen in this state, keep driving another two hours to another state and get pulled over again. It's witnesses. It's real testimonies to this truth. So go ahead and ask your favorite motherfucking guru, teacher, YouTuber, digital content creator. Go ask them. Go ask them. Go ask them to, to stand on their truths. Pull out the receipts. Where the testimonies at? Because I make somebody really testify about the truth. They might not have the truth in them, but they can show enough testify. Many got bear witness to the truth. How so? Because I've been motherfucking out here. And when I'm out here, that means everybody seeing the truth. They bear witness to it. So go ask. Ask yourself. How have my deeds, how have my representation? You know what I'm saying? How have I went out here and represented the truth? Stood on it. Through the good and the bad. Because it gets so easy to stand on it through the good. See, a lot of the people that motherfuckers be out here paying everything good for them. They money up so much to the point that they can fool your ass thinking they using this information. Whole time, they just using all this money that you giving them. They just using this shit to build up business credit and pay off credit cards and keep their credit cards evolving and making purchases and shit like that. You don't even understand the finesse. You don't even understand the finesse. The finesse be right there in your face, but because you haven't really truly bear witness to the truth in real time, you just getting deceived online by trickery and forgery. You can't make, look, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Williams, Darius Alexander, fictitious information to officer. Dismissed by DA. How did I get it dismissed by DA? Because I came in there with my DBA. Because I came in there with my declaration. Because I came in there and I stood on it. You can look it into my eyes and see I ain't playing. Why? Because these eyes right here that you looking into been reading. Yeah, you look googly scary eyes, motherfuckers. Y'all be getting scared out and googly eyed and all lost in space. You know what I'm saying? With that fear in your eyes, it can be seen. You know why? Because your eyes ain't been reading. Your eyes ain't read nothing for your mind to think something. 
resisting public officer dismiss operating vehicle no insurance dismiss possession of marijuana speeding dismiss operating license no license again Inspiring no inspection, driving without no registration. Yeah, this all stuff from this all stuff from being able to, you know what I'm saying, go out here and having to actually <clears throat> I'm about to bring my bow in. This all information I actually really have to, you know what I'm saying, stand on my squad. So if we want to start, you know what I'm saying, using different marketing tactics, you know what I'm saying? Everybody out here marketing, hey, come join my platform. You know what I'm saying? Come get my come get my $89.99 a month package. Da, da, da. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come bring, you know what I'm saying? Everybody on that shit. Everybody on it. Motherfuckers come out here. They get lost into the. They get lost into the finesse. A lot of niggas got that good talk game. A lot of niggas got that good talk game. A lot of motherfuckers know how to come in and, 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 and talk out that talk. You know, know how to watch a video. See, a lot of these motherfuckers went to college. I didn't go to college. A lot of people that. You you paying right now when they was in school they was not really cool they was a nerdy type of motherfucker wishing they was cool they was wishing they was cool they was in the classroom watching the nigga like me make the class laugh and make girls smile and shit while they, they was over there doing their homework and shit like that doing their classwork they used they was the motherfuckers that had their classwork all done and didn't have to take it home to do it for homework I don't motherfucker did nothing in class. Took that shit home and did nothing at home. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these <laughs> niggas got good study skills and shit like that. And went to college and wrote papers and did all types of research. So they can sit back and they can listen like they listen to the professor in, in class and take some notes and go back and finagle some shit together. You know what I'm saying? They done did this shit. They went to college. Me and my Bro, we ain't never did no damn college shit. Ain't nobody went to no damn college. Ain't nobody went to no, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, community college, tech school shit, high school shit. <laughs> so you talking, you be going to motherfuckers that have really went to that college shit. So they know how to get on these YouTube platforms and buy somebody else's information and read through their information and do they own, you know what I'm saying, report on they shit and switch it up and then turn around and, and, and present it back like they presented to their professor. Their professor gave them some information and within two weeks they didn't, didn't had to write it, read about it, look up on it, turn around, write something on it, get a thesis and summary on it and turn it back in and get an A on it. So that's what they doing with y'all motherfuckers. They getting some information for about two or three weeks to a month. They decipher, break it all down. They do their own report on it. They put it in their own words and they turn it back and they give it to y'all motherfuckers. And y'all giving them a passing A by accepting this bullshit and paying for this bullshit. Peace, Mo. Peace, Mo. That's a that's a big fact right there. That's exactly what they doing. Damn, I don't think I can hear you. Oh, 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 oh. Can you hear me now?
got that information. It's a recent court dismissal from 2022. Fleeing to a new high speed chase through Charlotte. Got it dismissed. Yeah. No lawyer. You know what I'm saying? We gotta pull out the facts. We gotta pull out the facts. The facts is okay, same case. Okay, so this is the case right here where got uh stopped out doing DoorDash. DoorDash making plays, dropping out herds, doing everything. And me and bro was really making the moves. And uh I got stopped. Why did I get stopped? Because once again, I had the tags i had the private uh morris tags and once again off a case that i done already previously beat they tried to stop me for it i remind you they never even they never even charged me for driving out license they did charge me for having uh the tags but that's why they stopped me they stopped me for that what they did charge me for was was just the public officer and uh yeah, yeah, yeah. We took him on a nice little, took him on a nice little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all don't even know about all this. Y'all don't even know about this through the city. That ain't my that ain't that ain't my first getaway either. I done had a couple of them and I got away. <laughs> Woo, boy, that's another story for another time. But this time, you know what I'm saying? I was riding on E. The gas tank was on E. Oh, MG, man, gas tank was on E, you know what I'm saying? But this is what happened, though. I got locked up. And then yeah, Seymour came through, filed a habeas corpus on the record. Within, within what? Within eight hours. Typed it up, you know what I'm saying? Typed it up February 25th, 2022. Take notice, I have entered a motion to be heard on my habeas corpse for, two, for February 25th, 2022. Darius Alon Pasha Bay, beneficial owner, first lien holder, William Darius Corp. So, doing business as Darius Williams. So, this is what my bro had to pull up. See, a lot of y'all motherfuckers be hating. A lot of y'all motherfuckers be hating because, see, we talking about real-time information, real-time knowledge being used and applied. And y'all be going out of people who have not really used and applied it. How, how you really walking and doing and standing on this information, helping people, but you ain't got no, you ain't got no other men around you that can validate you. Yeah, fuck all that bullshit. Everybody want to be all self-made, self-proclaimed and shit like that. See, you dealing with a nigga that's always been a giant amongst men. And I'm going to tell you for a fact, if you really doing giant shit out here, if you really making moves and making shit happen, there's going to be other men around that's going to see and know. So how your mother fucking favorite guru how your favorite teacher how yo how, how yo whoever that you paying how they coming out here and they ain't got other uh men of of, of good representation you know what i'm saying of good principles and you know what i'm saying respectable amongst the community that can come and say that they can validate and be able to you know what i'm saying attest to what these motherfuckers doing and talking about a lot of motherfuckers be hating a lot of niggas Niggas be hating because bro be coming out here showing the proof and then, you know what I'm saying, having other people that can be able to validate the proof and, and, and be able to show that information knowledge applied is working and giving remedy. But yet at the end of the day, y'all motherfuckers still want to go out to somebody who ain't got nobody around them to show that can, that can validate and, and, and show for fact. Where the fuck they at? Where the witnesses at? Where's the testimonies? Where are the testimonies? You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody got no testimony. Can't nobody bear witness and can be able to speak on behalf of, of, of information, you know what I'm saying, that was applied in their situation and got them the 
positive results that they were seeking. Come on now. This right here. This right here. Habeas court file, you know, had the habeas court file, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to really go into too much, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? The DBA, you got to have that DBA. And not only just having that DBA, but you got to have that DBA and you got to have that certified copy. Stop going out here thinking you got some type of paperwork and you don't have a certified copy. Stop thinking you can walk around with a ticket and you don't have a certified copy of the ticket. Stop thinking you can walk around with anything and it hasn't been certified copy or authenticated or nothing of that, that count. You just got documents that you just motherfucking just printed off the, the man, cut it out. That's a, that's a, stuff like that. If it was really that easy, you know what I'm saying? It would really be that easy. But you got to understand, you got to have, go read the registration act, go understand how you have to have things registered on the register. And just because you registered on something, does that does not mean that you're giving up your rights. See, when you understand and know the position that you're truly in, you know, you ain't coming out here just giving up rights and shit. You ain't coming out here just, you know what I'm saying? Let your nay be nay and your yay be yay. If you got to speak on a matter, you got to speak on a matter. If you got to address a matter, you got to address a matter. You know what I'm saying? Print some documents out off on the printer at the library and going in and trying to stand on that. And you ain't got, you ain't got these documents have been authenticated. You know what I'm saying? They haven't been, you know what I'm saying? Just because they're notarized by a notary does not mean you gave up jurisdiction. You know what I'm saying? You give up jurisdiction when you decide and choose to give up jurisdiction, when you don't understand your own jurisdiction. When you truly understand your jurisdiction, then that's when you're not giving up jurisdiction. But a lot of motherfuckers don't even understand their own jurisdiction. They don't truly understand the jurisdiction that they have, the power that they have within themselves. They don't really truly understand that. And when you truly don't really understand that, that's how you give up jurisdiction. Not because you went in and 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 filed something on the record and now you got some uh some number in, in barcode, you know what I'm saying? This is a number in barcode right here. You know what I'm saying? This number in barcode would has been used. This DA D, DBA been used and applied. See more can tell you right now. We was in West Virginia going through the mountains and shit. I'm I'm slowing down, speeding, speeding, slowing down. Cause these motherfuckers got it set up to where one minute the speed limit is 65, next minute the speed limit 50, next minute the speed limit 45, back to 65. This shit constantly rotating and, and revolving around. You know what I'm saying? It's switching up so much. I'm just pushing 60 the whole time through and shit. Boom, got pulled over. Gave the ID, gave my ID. Had the DBA, gave them the DBA with that. You know what I'm saying? Cool, calm, and collect. As always, knowing how to keep that shit player. A lot of you guys don't know how to keep your shit player. Yeah, being able to remain cool, calm, collect, and poise. You know what I'm saying? Like Tom Brady in the two-minute warning. Yeah, that's keeping that shit player. You got to know how to, you know what I'm saying, remain within yourself. You got to speak on what you got to speak on and stand on your square and and stand on the law. But at the end of the day, man, you can't be all scary with this shit. Yeah, they, they going to pick up on that. Yeah, somebody who, who got eyes that's been reading. See, when your eyes ain't been reading, when you ain't been using your eyes to read the truth, yeah, motherfucker can look in your eyes and see you're scared. But see, when you've been putting time in, studying, late up night, early morning, falling asleep, waking back up, reading, putting that real time in to read, yeah, it's something. It's something that your eyes and came across and seen, you know? Something that your eyes and came across and seen that made your mind think. So a lot of times, that's where it start is. It's that it really start right in the eyes. You got to really be able to, you know what I'm saying, stand on this shit. 
it ain't always about how you're talking, what you're saying, you know. It's a really about what's inside, like your, your energy that you decide to put out. You putting out doubt, guess what? That doubtful energy is being put out. That means whatever's put out will be received and projected back onto. So you, you putting out doubt, guess what? Somebody going to pick up on that, whether it's the judge, the cop, you know what I'm saying, the, the CFO, the whoever it may be. Somebody going to pick up on that doubt. And guess what? Whatever little bullshit process you try to fumble together and, and print off on your printer and send out, guess what? They going to doubt that because that's what you putting out. You put the doubt out, so now they putting the doubt out back on you. That's your own doubt. See, you this your own doings. A lot of times shit don't work. That be your own doings. A lot of people go against the truth, what they supposed to do, and they go they go on their own accord. And when they go on their own accord, they start doubting. Let's talk about the story with Peter walking on water. Let's talk about it. We're talking about faith. You think we're really talking about a motherfucker walking on water? Yo, yo, your brain ain't developed into reality. If you think we're talking about well, really walking on water, we're talking about faith here, okay? So we're going to talk about the story of Peter walking on water. Peter had faith because he, he could see it. He physically saw, he physically saw Jesus walking on the water. And because he saw it, he believed. He believed. See, somebody could tell him that, nah, that ain't happening. That ain't true. But guess what? His eyes seen it. For eyes have seen, ears have heard. So because he, he seen it, he stayed focused on what he seen. And what gave him the strength and the faith to believe, he kept his eyes on that. And it caused him to be able to move. It caused him to take a step on faith. It caused him to believe within himself that he could do it too. He believed that he could do it too because his eyes seen it. But the moment, the moment he took his eyes off, the moment he started having doubts is when he took his eyes off. He was supposed to stay focused on the truth, the light, the word, the instruction. The source that was giving him that faith and the belief in himself, he was supposed to stay true to that and stick to that, but he took his eyes off of that. See, when you get this information, you got to keep focus on this. You can't be veering off sometimes and getting caught up into this, distractions over here to the left and right. You got to stay true and found on this. You got to stay true to this. You can't be switching it up. One minute you... One minute you focus on this process, nine minutes you focus on another process. Then you go to this person and you want to talk about how both these, you doing a compare and contrast, both these processes don't work. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be y'all be going to y'all be going to see more trying to trying to trying to make him the arbitrator over two different processes you tried and didn't work. <laughs> Y'all be going to bro, trying to trying to appoint him as the arbitrator, so he can scale out two di two different two two different processes that didn't work. That ain't his position and job. That ain't what he that ain't that ain't what he he got time to be doing. If you really wanted the process to work. Why not go to the one that you come into the competitive process, different processes to? If, if you if you think he the person that you supposed to, you know what I'm saying, come to after different process did work, then why not just go to him in the beginning? Instead of wasting time and money with your little doubting ass, so you little doubt 
Y'all motherfuckers, y'all always want to do the shortcut shit, the cheat shit, the cheat code shit. Because you doubt yourself so much that you think you got to finesse or cheat in some type of way. You just can't be motherfucking honorable. So how about just being, deciding to be honorable within your motherfucking self, you know what I'm saying, and go to the one who got the information and the remedy, who actually going to give a fuck about your ass. A lot of these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. A lot of these motherfuckers gonna take your goddamn money. You gonna be homeless, stranded out, kids fucked up, car gone, taken out, and they guess what? They gonna be sitting over there with the, doing, going through the same thing you going through. <laughs> oh, you thought you thought I was gonna say they gonna be over there with all your money, living good? No, they're not. They're gonna be fucked up too because the same dumb remedy process that they tried for themselves didn't work. They came, you came to them, bought that shit. Didn't work for them, not working for you either. All y'all fucked up. I guess that's just what some of y'all got to go through. Some of y'all got to go through. Then y'all go to somebody else and it happened again. Oh, you got to go through it again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well. You know, hard, hard head making soft behind. You know what I'm saying? If these police motherfuckers won't fuck you up, these niggas will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if Biden don't do it, these niggas will. If Trump don't do it, these niggas will. Yeah, yeah. And you motherfucking niggas fooling you mugs. I ain't never think a people could be so goddamn gullible, so gullible to fall into the snares and pitfalls of the devil. You keep you keep playing, you keep thinking shit about racism. It's not. It's about the poor, the rich, the dumb, and the smart. You wanna be dumb? Be dumb then. Go ahead and be dumb and see where it gets you. You think being smart is some shit that you run into school that you Read in books in your history class and shit like that, and your science, physics, whatever. That ain't being smart. Being smart is knowing how to make the best decisions. And when it comes to deciding who you're going to go to to get this information and remedy, <laughs> you motherfuckers is making the worst decisions. So obviously, you're dumb. You know? And if you were so smart, why you ain't make the right decision to go to the right person to get help? Not, not you and you. Now your grandma house that she didn't pass down to you gone and shit. <laughs> I mean, for that much, you could have just spent that money just to pay the bad back taxes. God damn. You know what I'm saying? Foolish. With that being said, yeah, we popping game on this shit. Going back live, probably. You know what I'm saying? Get onto that TikTok. Universal economic uplift. Get onto that TikTok. Get onto that Instagram. I have to make some posts. This right here, this book, this is a little book over 10 years now. 10 years. I got information all in here. I got, I got information all in here, really. Everything I'm doing now, social entrepreneur, enterprise, newspaper, network, marketing, have ads on small businesses and magazines, make investments into our enterprise to help and uplift the humanity, get free ad and magazine, real estate, home upgrades, yeah, schools, top scholars, educational update, legal organization, making a change. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, then putting work in, you feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, make sure, you know, so y'all reach out, get into these, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get into my classes. Yeah, come join my class. If you want to know how to beat the court system today, join my class, <laughs> head-ass mom. <laughs> you ain't got to join the class. You ain't got to do nothing. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm about this bread, and I'm about enjoying my life. You know what I'm saying? So I apply the information for myself, you know, the way I get money to be able to give myself the life and enjoyable, you know what I'm saying, piece of abundance that I want does not come out 
from y'all did my classes. <laughs> it come off what I've been building for over 10 years. Businesses and stuff and structure, infrastructure that I plan to be able to expand on. You know? Y'all classes? Oh, that's just because you got to pay motherfucking dues. You know what I'm saying? What? What? Come on now. Come on now. You think I disrespect my pepper? No. With that being said, Mac and Stack and Fruit Snacking ain't no lacking in my game. You know what I'm saying? It's that king talking soldier walking. You know what I'm saying? Show you how to talk like a king, walk like a soldier. Peace and power.